Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today, we are going to work on Synology DSM integration. We'll start in 10 seconds. One of the first Home Assistant How-To videos I recorded here on the channel was integration with the Synology DSM. And this integration worked great. It provided you a lot of details about your Synology system. This was done by editing sensor CML file. But in the version of Home Assistant 0.109.0, this integration changed. So if you have already integration configured inside your Home Assistant, it will no longer work. And if you try to follow my previous video, you will fail. That's why I decided to record this new video and to see what are current options for integrating Synology DSM inside Home Assistant. The easiest way, of course, to add the integration since version 0.109.0, .0, and I think this should be a preferred method to everyone, is go to Configuration, Integrations, and here you will see Synology devices that have been discovered. As you can see, I have a bunch of them here. The configuration is pretty easy. You just click on Configure. You insert here your username, password. If you have changed the port of your Synology DSM, you can enter or you must enter your port here. And here, you can tick this box to use SSL, but since my Synology, at least this one, doesn't use SSL, I will not be using it. And let's press Submit. The integration is now done, and we can add the area. I'll skip this for now. If we click on the integration devices, we can see that we have four devices, Volume 1, SDA and SDB, and Synology NAS itself. Also, we have 37 entities. These are all the entities Synology is now pulling. So, as you can see, there is no need to specify any additional parameter. The integration will try to pull all the data it can from the Synology itself. As this is a better and easier and much efficient way to integrate, let's talk about downside. Unfortunately, using this integration in this current version, meaning 0.109.0, zero or up to dot six you are not able to have any additional synology device meaning that you can only have integration with one synology dsm device the thing i have to do now is i have to ignore all the other instances of synology because unfortunately at this point i cannot add them as integration inside home assistant also as you noticed you cannot change the name, so device itself will be known as Synology or Synology DSM. Let's check that. Let's go to Overview. Let's go to Synology. And you can see that here I have same information I had before about my Synology. Volume use, CPU load, memory usage, upload, download, speeds, etc. And all those are named Synology CPU. So this was the easy way. What if you already have your integration inside Home Assistant and want to use YAML for that? All you would have to do is following. Let's go to Visual Studio Code or whatever editor you are using. And in Sensor YAML file, you should have something like this. This is the configuration as it used to look. New integration has to be inside configuration YAML file, so we have to remove it from sensor YAML file. The easiest way to do that is just to delete it. Or what you could also possibly do is comment out the Synology here. After you have commented out Synology integration here, go to your configuration YAML file. And here you can now create new integration. Let's create first 
tag Synology so we know what we are configuring. Next thing is to configure the platform. Now this is done by using Synology DSM. And we now have to specify a couple of variables that are needed for this integration to work. First thing that we definitely need here is host. Next variable that you need if you change the default port is port. After that, we need SSL. If we are using or we are not using SSL, we have to specify either true or false. I think that default value is true, but since I'm not using SSL, I, don't, I do not have SSL on this uh, Synology device, I have to specify here false. And next are two additional parameters that we need. One will be username. And the second one will be password. For all those values, I will be using secrets. So host secret. In the secrets file, you have to specify host name. And I will be using name Sino host, so I know this is Synology host. Next one will be secret Sino port. SSL is false for me. And secret Sino user. And next one is secret Sino pass. If this is a new integration for you, don't forget to add to your secret YAML file, Sino host with the IP address of the Synology, Sino port with the port number of the Synology, Sino user with the specific username you created previously, and Sino pass with the password for that user. If this is your first time creating Synology DSM integration, you have to create a specific user for this inside your Synology. I will be posting in the description of the video a link to my previous video where there is a video step-by-step -step guide on how to create that user. It's very easy to do it. You have to create a new user, give it username and password. But the tricky part is this user has to be a member of the administrative group, of the group of the administrators. And the next thing that you need to do to protect yourself, data and Synology, you have to restrict let's say it all the access of that user to the Synology. Now that we have done this, what we have to do is we have to go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart our server. If we now go to configuration, integrations, you will now have your Synology DSM device configured with all the entities here. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video or any other video I made or have a request for some future videos, please leave a comment down in the comment section or you can more easily contact me via Discord. This is it for today's Home Assistant how-to video. This was an update to already existing video on the Synology DSM integration. As Home Assistant evolves, I know that I will have to make a lot more videos on the changes that were made. But that's no issue and I will gladly do it in the future. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.